wow, this has got to be the least inspiring signing you could imagine. I mean, real quick, some context. Nate Sudfeld was the dude that the Eagles brought in last year when they were trying to lose, okay? They wanted to get the sixth pick in the draft, and they were winning a game week 17 with Jalen Hurts playing. He was playing too well. So they benched him and brought in Nate Sudfeld. He lost because he's so bad. He didn't lose. He just, you know, is Nate Sudfeld. Uh, the head coach lost the team in that moment and got fired. It was a scandal. That's Ugh. who the Niners signed. So what does this mean? What is going on here? My head just exploded. You know, I mean, I, I really do side with the, the idea that you have to insulate yourself for the idea that Jimmy's headed out of town. You do, in fact, need a second quarterback. I'm really intrigued by Josh Rosen. I think that that could end up being a marriage made in heaven. Me too. I think that he has an odd personality type and Kyle has an odd personality type. And I think that they're going to vibe. Good point. Yeah. I, I just think that in a quarterback room, those two are smart enough and weird enough that they're vibing, right? That they're chopping it up. And I think that's yeah. important. It seems to me like like the the gifted math student who doesn't do his homework because it's too easy and he needs that one teacher who you know excites him. That could be Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. absolutely. There's going to be a reclamation story about it. Exactly. Yes. 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 But Sudfeld seems to me to be along the lines of a Gardner Minshew of bringing in someone who can back up a rookie, can you know show him how to be a pro within the league and can potentially win a couple of games if you need them to. Not going See, to question, inspire anyone. I mean, the dude has played in four games. He's 25 and 37. He's never started a game. My question is, which quarterback on the 49ers is he better than? Oof. I mean, like, is he better than Josh Rosen? Not my opinion. I mean, maybe. Is he better than Josh Johnson? Uh, maybe. I I guess so. It's like when I when we see that your your first reaction is, oh well, here's the backup. They don't need Jimmy. This is just this is the guy going to be taking Jimmy Garoppolo's place. I don't know. I like Rosen better. I I, I would agree I like with Rosen. that. That yeah. Rosen is more intriguing. What I would guess is that we will see a second body come in that is of Sudfeld's level. I will not be shocked okay. if it is Gardner Minshew. Okay. I think that you're looking for competition to see who's the true number two. And Josh Rosen, I believe, will be in that mix. Maybe it's possible that Josh Rosen won't make the team. Sudfeld will be the third string. There'll be a rookie and there'll be someone else. I just I can't imagine Nate Sudfeld being the number two quarterback on this team next year. Like, why is he really better than Nick Mullins? Like, what he's thrown 37 passes in his life. What what did you see? You like those 37 passes, huh? You saw some something special from those 37. I don't get it. Yeah, it must have it. intrigued them in some way. I mean, you could argue that um, we've already damaged Nick and and therefore know what we have there and 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 don't have. And, and this is a new quarterback that we can uh, damage yet again. But it's, you know, it, it's not exciting. When I heard breaking news, I thought, oh, good. And then I looked and it was like Nate Sudfeld. It's no. about as exciting as like taking a, a shot of Sudafed. Nate Sudafed. <laughs> That's I heard it and I was like, man, I gotta take a nap. Thank you very much. Nate, I will write this article another time. Need that nap. The world isn't waiting on that one. <laughs> 